This next exercise is all about our posterior oblique sling. So like what we talked about this morning, when I'm getting my rotator arm working and storing energy plus my glute, I'm really getting that co-activation between the two that I can then put through the rugby ball. So this drill is really good when it comes to goal kicking. So with our band height, we want to settle up about head height and there's two stages that we can do this. So if I'm holding the band in my right hand, my right leg is going to go back first. So a bit of tension on the band already. I'll go back into a lunge. My my knees just off the ground, I've got 90 degrees here, 90 degrees in my back leg. All I'm doing here, this glute's really firing, I'm getting into a row in my right arm and as you can see there, this glute's working and my right shoulder is working. I'm wanting to twist but because I'm trying to keep that core nice and stable, I'm not allowing that body to go. So just getting through six reps, good co-activation, body's nice and still, trying not to rotate through my upper body, nice and stable. So now we get into the second stage of this drill where we can actually come out of that reverse lunge. So same cue, right hand, right leg is going to go back. I'm going to get into that nice stable lunge for a start. 90 degrees in both legs, I'm nice and rock solid and stable. I'm going to come up onto that front leg, high knee and my right knee, getting that left glute working, my right shoulder is really locked up, and then going back into that reverse lunge. Coming forward. So again, I love this exercise because there's a direct reflection into goal kicking of that co-activation. <laughs> 